Hello everyone, welcome to my course and in this video I will show you how to configure Elastic Queries in Azure SQL. Now as you know that in Azure SQL we do not have a link server facility where you can fetch a data from some other server. Also Azure SQL can't support a cross query, cross database query. For example, right now I am in the DB1 and I want certain data from DB2. Let's say I want uh, employee data from DB2 inside the DB1. In the on-premises, we can get a data like this, select star from DB2, database name, schema name and table name. So if I run this query, I am getting error. So reference to database or a server name is not supported in this version of SQL Server. Okay, because what happened in the SQL Server? This is just a logical server. And each and every database have a dedicated resource. So now let's say I want to achieve this requirement and for that you want to create a elastic queries. So you can fetch a data from different different databases. Now the elastic queries or an external, external table or a polybase or a cross queries all are same. So in this elastic queries again we have a same steps we need to first create a connections then we need to define the data source either it's a mongodb or oracle db or azure sql db or hadoop and after that we need to create external table to fetch the data from different database or different server so in the previous video we have created two databases in the local db db1 and db2 so i am going to use same database so first I want to create the connection. Let me create the master key and database scope credential to connect the different database. So here you can see right. We need to first create require some credential which can talk to the other databases right so let me create the credential oh let me first create the master key and after that let me create the credential after that we need to set up the data source so either it's a azure db or mongodb or oracle db or hadoop so or you can use Azure Blob Storage. So for that, let me create the data source. So create external data source, give the name with type. So now here the type is RDMMS. Okay, relational database. Location, I want, I want same location, but just I want to fetch data from DB2. So location would be same. And here I am going to give the database 2 because inside the database 2 I have an employee table. Correct? And give the credential. So credential is elastic db query db1. So let me create the data source. After that step 3, I want db1. Inside the db1, I want to fetch a data from employee table correct so for that let me take the definition of employee table so let me take the definition of employee table and I want to create the external table for this so give the same name 
and here type the external and with give the data source so my data source is this one my elastic db query data source db1 okay now this two is optional schema name and object name because it's required let's say now db1 have a employee table at that time you have to give you have to use these two options so schema name is dbo and object name is employee okay so let me create the external table okay it's done now let's fetch the data so let me go to the new query window so right now i am in the db1 i am fetching the data of employee so first time it will take a time so for that go to db2 go to table folder and just check the data inside the employee table so in the db2 also there is no data inside the employee table let's insert certain data so now i have two records inside the employee table right now i am in the db2 so let me go to the db1 and run the select statement see here so now you can get a data from db2 using elastic queries similarly let me remove the data and let me refresh go to the db1 and let me refresh again see so it will be immediately reflect okay similarly you can create a multiple data source and and fetch the data from different database now inside the db1 there is a folder called external re, external resources inside the external resources we have external data source where you can see all the existing data source so right now we have created this similarly you go to the table folder and inside the table folder we have external tables where you can see all the external tables and uh, if you want to drop and recreate you can go script table as a drop and create so it will give complete definition okay so now you can see this definition also okay now let's take a second use case just uh, let me drop everything okay now what i am going to do i am going to create a same table employee table in db1 so right now i do not have any table right and let me refresh this so right now i do not have any employee table so i am going to create the employee table so i am going to create employee table inside the db1 okay so now i want combined result from db1 employee data as well as db2 employee data for reporting purpose so let's create a external table for this so step 1 is same so create a master key after that let me change this name uh, db2 there is no okay so let me create the data source now here 
once i create the external table with employee it will give the error uh, just give me one minute let me change the data source and it will give the error there is already object name employee in the database because we have just now created the employee table right let me refresh the table folder so we have just now created this employee table now let's quickly check i am going to comment this two line okay and i am going to create ext external employee table so if i create this table and let me run this query so you will get a error error retrieving data from dev local db database dot windows dot and db two they are underlying error message receive invalid object name ext employee because we do not have any object like this ext employee now to resolve this issue you require this two line let me drop first i will explain it means that my external external employee table inside the db1 in the background it's pointing to the employee table from db2 okay so that's why this two line is very important so let me create the external table and let me run the query again now you can see the d uh, the data is coming from db2 how you can validate because in the db1 we do not have any data so in the db1 we do not have any data in the db2 we have one record okay so sometime you you have some migration activity where you want copy a data from db1 source to another at that time you can create the elastic queries and after that you have to just type insert into employee so this is one this is my db1 date uh, db1 table and this is my db2 table so let me insert the records done now let's quickly check so now inside the db1 also we have one record so you can do the migration based on your requirement so i hope you will get clear idea about elastic query if you have any doubt then just drop me a email i will definitely reply you thank you very much see you in the next video